About a year and a half ago, I made a video about me making soap. And someone commented on that video, you should wear gloves while using sodium hydroxide because they thought I was going to hurt myself. In response to that comment, I made this video where I deliberately poured sodium hydroxide right on my hand to prove that it's not as corrosive as a lot of people think. In Fight Club, someone pours sodium hydroxide on someone else's arm and it completely mutilates their arm with all these horrible chemical burns. I don't like this. I think that it makes people s more scared of things than they should be. So, here is a glass. Forgive me, I sold all my beakers to make some money. And now I'm pouring in the sodium hydroxide, like you guys told me to, and I'm mixing it up. Notice, it's getting very hot. Sodium hydroxide mixed with water releases a lot of thermal energy. This can be a hazard because hot liquids corrode things faster than cold ones do. Okay, here you go. Here is the aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide. And three, two, one. And it isn't doing much. I'm not feeling anything at all, so I decide to pour more on my hand. And just as I thought, nothing's happening. It didn't even start to feel uncomfortable at this point. The only thing I noticed was my hands were beginning to feel pretty slippery. This is because the sodium hydroxide converts the oils in your skin to soap. Here's my hand again. See, it's fine. And we'll try this again. So I pour it on my hand and I'm going to rinse it as soon as I feel the slightest bit of discomfort. So I notice I'm not feeling anything, so I pour in some more. It's not burning me at all. So I rinse it off, and once again my hand feels very slippery. And my hands are fine. Okay, let's take this up a notch with the most popular meme on YouTube, bleach. Bleach, instead of sodium hydroxide, is sodium hypochlorate, which is more corrosive. So let's try this. So I'm just showing that it's actual bleach, and here we go. The bleach actually became uncomfortable much faster than the sodium hydroxide did. So there I'm rinsing it off as soon as I felt a slight bit of discomfort. And my hand feels very soapy after this. I'm making sure to get off all of the sodium hypochlorite or as much as I can. And look, my hands are fine. Bleach does not dissolve right through skin. Okay, so why does this happen? The skin on the hands is actually very thick. The outermost layer of skin is dead. And being on your hands, it's very thick, the layer of skin. Which means your hands actually provide a decent barrier against corrosive things. However, your eyes do not have this thick layer of skin. So if you accidentally splash some in your eyes, you could go temporarily or permanently blind. This is why we're always told to wear safety glasses or goggles when we're using sodium hydroxide because it can damage your eyes permanently.